Howdy y'all, I'm Scott. This should be the last Duma OS quality of service video you will ever need. We're gonna go through everything you need to know about Duma OS quality of service. Now you may notice I'm using a Net Duma R2, but this goes for any of the Duma OS routers. So if you have a Netgear, Nighthawk, whatever, and it has quality of service, well, the rules are gonna apply the exact same way. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to tell our quality of service system what our speeds are. We can run a speed test on our favorite speed test site, and then we're going to enter those settings here under the set bandwidth speeds. You can also have it automatically detect your speeds uh, that can be hit and miss. So I prefer using a speed test site, doing a handful of tests and taking that middle range result. You know, you might have a meg up, meg down. So find that middle ground, put it in your download and upload, and then go ahead and close everything out, continue. Next thing, we need to set our congestion control to get rid of buffer bloat. The easiest way to do this is you start off by capping your download and your upload by 1%. So drop it from 100 to 99. Then you can run a connection benchmark test and a waveform test, which I'll have linked down below for you to see if your buffer bloat score ends up at an A plus. If it does, awesome. You don't need to adjust anymore. If it doesn't, keep adjusting your download and upload little by little until you get either an A plus or at the very least an A buffer bloat score. Once you have done that, you have some options here. So you've capped your bandwidth, but do you want it to always be capped? Well, that is an option. If you have a full gigabit up, a full gigabit down, and the cap is, you know, 1%, well, that's really not that much. You may just decide to leave the system always on and allow it to always get rid of your buffer bloat, no matter what you're doing, gaming or et cetera. But for others, you might want to use the auto enable feature, which will automatically enable quality of service when gaming traffic is detected. So if you're doing other stuff and then you hop on your games, it will say, oh, hey, I know that you're gaming. I'm gonna turn on congestion control while you're gaming so that that lag is gone and you have a smooth online experience. For those of us who don't have a lot of bandwidth and we're downloading games and stuff to our consoles still, never is the option we want to choose when we're downloading those games, big patches, etc. Do not choose never while you're playing a game. Sure, it will give you more bandwidth for those downloads, but will also cause lag in the game that you're playing. So when you are playing a game, you wanna use auto enable or always. And if you're not playing a game, you can choose never so that your household has the full bandwidth. All right, that is it when it comes to congestion control. You wanna adjust for buffer bloat, choose one of those options that works best for you, and then you're good to go. The next thing down is your bandwidth allocation wheel, flower, whatever you wanna call this thing. My recommendation is not to touch it. Do not look at it, just skip right past it. Now, for those of you out there who don't wanna heed my advice and you decide to take gaming traffic, for example, and give it some sort of percentage, what you will notice is games will play great for a day, maybe a couple of days, and then, not so much. Things will start acting wonky and you'll come back in and you'll make more adjustments to this wheel. Things will feel good again and then they won't. And then you'll be back adjusting your congestion control thinking it has something to do with that. And it's just a terrible rabbit hole to go down. The Duma OS quality of service system automatically takes all your bandwidth, the full amount that you have here and in your settings, even with congestion control on and says, okay, what do I have available? All right, I've got 200 available because he's at hundred percent. I'm going to divide that between all of these things, but also when one of these things needs more than what I say I have. So if I click on one, it says I have 18 download. 
But if it needs more than that, it's more than capable of getting that. The only way to shut that particular system off is to come over here and unclick the download share access and upload share access. This is not recommended. You want the quality of service system to take care of everything for you. That plus the deep packet inspection system that is built within Duma OS will do everything you need. You don't have to mess with it. So please take my advice. Don't mess with the wheel. The very next thing we need to worry about is traffic prioritization. I've talked previously about Duma OS classified games, which is the stock setting. You can see it says gaming voice under wireless type. The unfortunate thing is Duma OS has decided that Wi-Fi is more important than Ethernet. This is something I've complained about and hopefully one day they will fix. But if you have a wireless device like a Nintendo Switch, this is the correct option for you and will take care of everything you have. However, if you have a wired console, you're gonna wanna set up custom rules. So we're gonna disable the Duma OS classified. We're not gonna worry about work at home stuff. We're not messing with that. And we are going to add a games console rule. So we'll get rid of this one and we're gonna click add device. For me, that is the Xbox Series X. So we'll give that another click and click next. Now, you'll see here on my list, I have things like Battlefield Series or Call of Duty Series. If for some reason you do not have these on your list, that is because the deep pack and inspection system is yet to be updated on your router. Those updates are coming in the future, so just be patient and you should eventually have these other options. If you don't, for right now, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find games console and we're gonna give it a click. Now, some Duma OS routers have this advanced tab, others don't. If you happen to have the advanced tab, we're gonna use it. If you don't, don't worry about it, it's all good. So click advanced and you can see up top is normal default. Normal default stands for ethernet. So if you're running your console wired, this is the option you want. If you have a Nintendo Switch or anything else and you wanna customize it that way, you can use gaming voice. So that's for Wi-Fi. Then you want to click the apply to WAN. So apply the settings to the WAN so that everything works out that way. Done, all good. So now you can see I have games console here. And when my Xbox Series X turns on and detects gaming traffic, it will prioritize that gaming traffic for me. Great, that is awesome. Now, for those of us who have the options, the added options here of, uh, you know, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, et cetera, we wanna go through and start adding those. So let's say, for example, I play a lot of Fortnite. I don't, but let's just say I did. I click Fortnite, I click Advance, I'm on a wired connection, I apply it to WAN, I click Done. Now, what will happen with this Fortnite rule and your games console rule, when you log into Fortnite, it will say, hey, you're gaming, I see gaming traffic. And so it will start counting that gaming traffic and prioritizing it. But at the same time, it also sees that you are on Fortnite and it'll start prioritizing Fortnite's traffic on top of your other console traffic that's being prioritized. This causes issues. So when you have one of these custom rules, such as Fortnite, Call of Duty, Battlefield, what you wanna do when you log into that game is make sure you remember to hop on to your Duma OS router via your phone, laptop, etc., and disable the games console option and just leave the customized option for traffic prioritization. This will give you a better overall online gaming experience for that game. If again, you don't have these other options, don't worry about it, games console will work fine. But as these options show up on Duma OS routers, I do suggest using them. They make a pretty significant difference. All right, everybody, that is it. That's everything you need to know about Duma OS quality of service. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Till the next time, as always, take it easy.